In today's video, we're diving into how to use SEMrush for keyword research in e-commerce. If you're running an online store, keyword research is one of the most important steps to boost your visibility, attract the right audience, and increase sales. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear, actionable plan to use SEMrush to uncover profitable keywords and optimize your e-commerce store. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking the link down below in the description to get started with SEMrush. If you use the link down below, you can get started with an all access free 14 day trial. So what is keyword research and why does it matter? Keyword research is the foundation of any successful e-commerce SEO strategy. It's about understanding what potential customers are typing into search engines and aligning your content and product pages with those searches. Here's why it's critical. You can drive qualified traffic. Instead of random visitors, keyword research helps you attract users who are actively looking for your products. For example, someone searching for buy funny cat t-shirts is already in a purchasing mindset. Understand searcher intent. So not all searches are created equally. Some people are researching. What are the best t-shirts for summer? While others are ready to buy. Buy graphic t-shirts under $20. Understanding this intent helps you tailor your content to meet their needs. You can also outperform competitors. Tools like SEMrush let you analyze what keywords your competitors are ranking for and identify gaps where you can stand out. So step one in all of this is setting up SEMrush for keyword research. So to start, go ahead and log into SEMrush and navigate to the keyword magic tool under the SEO section. So this is the most comprehensive tool for building keyword lists and uncovering new opportunities. Choosing seed keywords. So we'll come over here in a SEMrush and we'll go to the keyword magic tool. So the process begins with a seed keyword, a broad term related to your niche. Think about your products and categories. Here are some examples. So if you sell handmade jewelry, a seed keyword might be handmade rings. Or if your store specializes in pet products, start with dog toys or cat collars. For a clothing store, a seed keyword could be summer dresses. Now once you enter your seed keyword, SEMrush generates a wealth of keyword ideas and data for analysis. This is where the real magic begins. So if we come here into the keyword magic tool, we can go ahead and enter in our seed keyword. For this example, we'll go ahead and type in dog toys and click search. Here you can see we're met with 92,000 keywords, a total volume of 1.9 million and an average keyword difficulty score of 18%. Step two, understanding keyword metrics. So SEMrush provides several important metrics to help you evaluate and prioritize keywords. So let's break them down. First up is search volume. Search volume volumes shows the average number of times that a keyword is searched for monthly. For example, funny t-shirts might have a search volume of 12,000, while cat meme t-shirts might have 800. Both can be valuable, but their strategies will differ. Next is the keyword difficulty score. So keyword difficulty indicates how hard it'll be to rank for a keyword. 0 to 29% is very easy, which is ideal for new stores or niche products. 30 to 49% is moderate. It requires some authority, but still attainable. 50 to 69% is hard. This is competitive, better for established sites. And 70% plus is very hard, which is reserved for well-established brands with significant resources. If you're just starting, focus on low difficulty, long tail keywords. Intent. Search intent tells you the goal behind a search. SEMrush categorizes intent into four types. Types. Informational, this is where users wanna learn something. Example could be, what are coilovers? Commercial investigation, this is when users are comparing products or services. Example, best coilovers for a 350Z. Transactional, this is when users are ready to buy. For example, buy a funny cat t-shirt online. And then there's navigational. This is when users are looking for a specific site or brand. For example, Amazon funny t-shirts. When it comes to e-commerce, you wanna focus on transactional and commercial intent for product and category pages while informational keywords are perfect for blogs and FAQs. Next is trends. So the trend chart shows how interest in a keyword changes over time. For example, Christmas sweaters spike in November and December. Understanding trends helps you plan seasonal content or decide if a keyword is worth targeting year round. CPC or cost per click. CPC shows how much advertisers are paying for a keyword in paid ads. High CPC often correlates with high value keywords. For instance, if Funny Graphic Tees has a CPC of $3, it's likely a lucrative keyword. So we take a look over here in our dog toy search. We have the keyword here on the left. Next, we have the intent. So you can see that some of these have multiple intents and some of them just have a single intent. Next, we have volume, then the keyword difficulty score and the cost per click. 
So you can also go ahead and come in here and filter. So let's say you wanted to go look at it by search volume, you could do so. So now it's going from highest volume to lowest volume. Or maybe if you're just starting out, you want to find the easiest words to rank for. So then we go ahead and filter here by keyword difficulty score. Step three, finding keyword opportunities. So the keyword magic tool is your starting point for finding opportunities. And here's how to make the most of it. Filtering keywords. You can use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow down your options. Set your keyword difficulty score to zero to 29% to focus on easy to rank for keywords. Then filter by intent to target the most relevant opportunities. You can sort by search volume to prioritize high demand terms. Exploring keyword variations. So this tool also provides keyword variations. For example, if your seed keyword is funny t-shirts, you might find something like synonyms with humorous tees or graphic t-shirts. You might also find long tail phrases like funny t-shirts for dads or funny workout t-shirts. These variations can help you refine your content and create pages tailored to specific audiences. Questions tab. The questions tab shows what users are asking about your products. Examples include how to style funny t-shirts. What are the best coilovers for performance cars? These questions are great for blog posts, FAQs, and even product descriptions. Step four, competitor analysis with SEMrush. Competitor analysis is a powerful way to find opportunities that you might've missed. Here's how to use SEMrush for this purpose. Keyword gap analysis. Go to the keyword gap tool. Enter your domain and your competitor's domains. Use the missing filter to find keywords they rank for, but you don't. For example, if your competitor ranks for buy cat me mugs and you don't, it's a sign to create content targeting that keyword. Backlink analysis. The backlink gap tool shows where competitors are getting links from. For instance, if a competitor has backlinks from a popular blog or industry website, you can reach out to those sites for similar opportunities. Step five, building a keyword strategy. After gathering keywords, it's time to organize them into a strategy. Categorize keywords. Divide keywords into groups. Primary keywords. High priority terms for product and category pages. Supporting keywords. These are variations and related terms for additional content. Blog and FAQ keywords. These are questions and informational terms for content marketing. Prioritize keywords. So you wanna focus on low difficulty, high intent keywords to start. Terms with stable trends and relevance to your offerings. Emerging trends for future growth. Step six, optimizing content with keywords. So now that you have a keyword list, it's time to implement them effectively, starting with product pages. So you can optimize product pages by including keywords in the title tag, the header one tag, and meta description. Write engaging product descriptions that naturally incorporate the keywords. Use clean, keyword-rich URLs. For example, yourstore.com forward slash funny dash t-shirts forward slash cat dash meme dash t-shirt. Blogs and FAQs. Use blogs to target informational keywords. For example, a blog titled top 10 gifts for dog lovers can promote your dog themed t-shirts. FAQs like how to choose the right coilovers can answer customers' questions and boost search visibilities. Internal linking. Link related content together. For example, a blog post about how to style funny t-shirts can link to your product page for graphic tees. Step seven, tracking and refining your strategy. Now, SEO isn't a one-time task. Use SEMrush to monitor and adjust your efforts. You can use the rank tracking tool for this. So set up the position tracking tool to monitor how your keywords are performing. Check rankings regularly to adapt to changes. Also conduct site audits. So run regular audits to identify issues like broken links, duplicate content, or slow loading pages. Fixing these can improve your SEO performance. Updating keywords. Trends change and so do search behaviors. Revisit your keyword list every few months to stay ahead. Step eight, real world application. So to bring this all together, let's apply these steps to an example. Suppose you run an online store selling funny t-shirts. Use the keyword magic tool to find long tail keywords like funny t-shirts for dog lovers or funny Christmas t-shirts. Create blog posts addressing questions like how to style funny t-shirts for work. Analyze competitors to find gaps like humorous graphic tees under $20. Build internal links between blogs, 
FAQs and product pages to guide visitors and improve SEO. By implementing these strategies, you'll not only improve your rankings, but you'll also create a seamless experience for your customers. So keyword research is the backbone of e-commerce SEO and SEMrush is one of the best tools to help you master it. By following these steps, you'll uncover the right keywords, optimize your content, and grow your store's visibility and sales. So if you wanna get started with SEMrush, we'll leave a link for it down below in the description so you can get a free 14 day trial. Now this is an affiliate link, which means that we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to helping you succeed with e-commerce by providing tips, strategies, and insights to grow your online business. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.